Algorand is being accused of being a security by the SEC, along with a bunch of different altcoins. The IMF actually didn't make the XRP competitor we discussed yesterday. We're gonna get into why nothing can compete with XRP and why the Universal Monetary Unit is BS. Quant continues to fall, but I am still bullish. Jerry Gensler could get fired at the SEC. We're gonna cover it all, so make sure you're watching until the end of the video. I love every single one of you. Let's go. What is up? I am Crypto Mason, and welcome back to the Crypto Mason YouTube channel. Shout out to the Gold Squad. We look for gold in every single aspect of our lives, and we always find it. Now today, we are back with another market update. Uh, I have to come clean about something. Yesterday, we talked about a potential XRP competitor. We're gonna dive a little bit deeper into that, and we will see that this thing is not even close to XRP's level. We're gonna check that out today. Uh, we also have a lot of other stuff. Algorand is being accused of being a security by the SEC directly. Uh, we're gonna talk about that. We're also gonna get into some of the charts today. First things first, make sure that you do join the Discord server. Link is in the description. It is free to join. Uh, but if you want trading calls and VIP alpha posts, uh, you can join the VIP, uh, which is right here. These are all the benefits on your screen right now uh, that you do get with VIP. So, so before we get started, we're going to start back up the XRP giveaways every single video. We're going to lower it down to 50. So if you want to win 50 XRP uh, we need to hit 1,000 likes, so drop a like on the video. If we hit 1,000 likes, I will be launching a giveaway for 50 XRP inside the Discord in the free crypto channel. I want to stress again, we have just launched a new podcast, me and MegBZK on one podcast right here, The Gold Pod. The first episode is out and the second ep episode is coming soon. Make sure you go subscribe to that. We're also on Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Amazon and everywhere else. Also make sure you go and follow on the TikTok right here, follow on the Instagram, the Twitter, and make sure you subscribe to the Clips channel where we will be pumping out Joe Rogan style clips from our podcast. So let's get into today's market update. 1.25 trillion on that total market cap. I love to see stuff like that. Uh, you know, are we going to come back down? We did print a pretty big red uh, candle so far on Bitcoin. And you guys know, you know, 2.5% for Bitcoin is a lot, right? When it goes down 2.5%, the whole market absolutely feels it. If we uh, pull up the bubbles today, let's check out the bubbles. You will see that there has been a lot of red happening in the market. We still got Render, Radix, which is absolutely a hidden gem. Uh, I want to talk more about Radix on this channel. Definitely a hidden gem. XRD. We've got AVAX, uh, Injective, and Didix, and then LRC, and then the rest are red, okay? And, you know, Casper is retracing a lot. We're still up so massively on Casper, right? Uh, if you're a VIP in the Discord, you know exactly what price I got in and bought my Casper at. I'm still up. I'm still up huge. And I think these next coming months for Casper are going to be bigger than ever. Let's actually talk about the top gainers today. As I said before, we have Render, Injective. You know, I'm not in Render. I'm not in Injective. Avalanche, no. So these aren't my these aren't my coins at the top of the at the top of the charts today. However, yesterday I did put in a very, very degenerate, and that just means like high risk trade on bitcoin i was shorting bitcoin uh you know and don't don't copy trade me uh, unless you want to this is fair desk uh make sure you do sign up for fair desk with the link in the description they are a partner of my channel uh but you know we made three thousand two hundred dollars of profit yesterday i did a uh 6.2 bitcoins <laughs> Uh, sh uh, short, a 25x short yesterday. Uh, and, you know, I entered at 29819 and we closed. Oh, sorry. That's open price. Uh, 
you can just see it right here. And we have taken some losses, right? $349 loss, you know, but we've been doing good on, on our DGen plays. Like here was another $1,000 profit, 200 profit. So go, if you want to copy trade me, I'll leave the link to that in the description. But those have been some very degenerate longs right there. Now, let's talk about the big, big breaking news today uh, that just came out. So first of all, Bitrix has been sued by the SEC for violating federal laws. As you can see right here, today we charged crypto asset trading platform Bitrix and its co-founder and former CEO, William Shihara, for operating an unregistered national securities exchange broker and clearing agency. Okay, now this is absolutely horrible. They also charged Bitrix Global uh, for failing to register as a national securities exchange in connection with its operation of a single shared order book along with Bitrix. So, you know, I've never really used Bitrix at all. Uh, but they are being sued right now. And look at this, even the former CEO. So someone who had already left the company is retroactively being charged uh, for this. So if we go back though, people have began dissecting the lawsuit and inside of the lawsuit, uh, the SEC is actually saying that Algorand is a security, okay? They're also saying that a bunch of other coins are also securities. So Algorand was listed, Dash was listed, OMG was listed, TKN, NGC, IHT. I've only heard of these top three right here, TKN, NGC, and IHT. I don't know what those are. What those are. Uh, however, you know this. This is this is insane, right? And Algorand. Uh, you know, it's not a security. They're, they've got the governance going. It's decentralized, right? And I would love to see how this progresses. So maybe they're going to come after Algorand with an individual lawsuit or come after all these coins. Uh, but what we've seen in these uh, exchange, like the fights between the SEC and these exchanges, is we've seen the SEC call multiple coins securities. But there's so many conf there's so much conflicting uh conflicting information going on right because they're not they haven't defined what a crypto you know that constitutes a security is yet now right after this happened actually let's talk about this first gary gensler was shilling algorand a couple years ago so let's take a look at these two clips that i posted and you know today gary gensler's calling algorand a security but let's listen to what he said uh, before about Algorand. Now, I posted these a while ago. I had to go and dig them back up when I saw this news. So let's take a look at this. So, gover so governance is tough. You could create Uber or Lyft on top of a blockchain technology today. Uh, well, maybe in five years you could. It would be have the performance. Uh, Sylvia McCallie's Algorand, uh, who's a uh, Turing Award winner at, at MIT that I work with. Um, sylvia has got a great technology that has the performance you could create Uber on top of it. The question is then who would update the software? So right there we hear Gary Gensler say Algorand is a great technology. He like gives his props to Silvio McCalli, the, the creator of Algorand. He says he works alongside Silvio McCalli. And you know, one as soon as this dude gets in a power position, he just starts like hamming on everything. So he was promoting Algorand right there as a great technology and basically saying that other blockchains, like if you read but if you read between the lines here, he's basically saying that other blockchains are trash and they could not build Uber on top of that. But Silvio McCalli though with Algorand they have a great technology and that you could build Uber right now. So what he's saying is Algorand is ahead of everyone else. And he's like really bigging up Algorand. Now let's take a look at the second clip I have right here from his one of his MIT lectures. Uh, let's give this a watch and then we'll talk about it. Here we go. Bitcoin's now the, the currency that's in, hypothetically the Bitcoin or some crypto. Uh, Aline would tell us it would be some other crypto. <laughs> That's maybe it's Algorand or something. Um, what happens? What what's going to happen to the? 
So right there, that's his second mention of Algorand. So he's heavily, he's been heavily aware of Algorand, uh, but he hasn't been caring until, you know, look, look at these idiots. Old video, bro, before he was a SEC chairman. No shit, dude. Of course. Yes, that's an old video. I'm showing you how this dude's whole, like, ego has changed as he's got into power. Now, speaking on that, okay, a U.S. congressman called Warren Davidson just introduced legislation to fire Gary Gensler from the SEC. Now, hopefully, I'm praying that this gets through, right, to fire Gary Gensler. Uh, this guy says this would require bipartisan support. The two parties do anything but work together. And that's a fact. I don't believe this will get through at all. But, you know, I, all I can do is hope that that gets through and we can fire Gary Gensler. So let's keep it moving right here into the HBAR section. Then we'll talk about the uh, XRP section here uh, with the Unicoin and the Universal Monetary Unit and what's going on there. So HBAR has already crossed. 7 billion transactions folks 7 billion already you know this is in, this is insane like we'll be at 20 billion in the blink of an eye 50 billion in the blink of an eye uh you know and only going up only going up and haters are gonna hate right haters are gonna hate on this but we don't care right hedera is an amazing not blockchain a hash graph amazing technology uh that is just slaying everything in its path OK, uh, and, you know, one of the projects I'm actually very, very bullish on that's building on top of Hedera. By the way, they changed their logo to green right here uh, because they are the most eco friendly uh, blockchain. Right. The most eco friendly. Look at this Hedera. Right. Look at how look at that little sliver compared to all these other ones. Look at this little sliver compared to Visa. Oh, you can't see that. There you go. In the bo uh, bottom left. Now, let's keep it going. If we go down here, right, I tweeted out yesterday, I am bullish on the number one HBAR social media project, Galaxy. Now, this is not sponsored, although I would love, you know, Galaxy to be an official partner of the channel. But Galaxy, I'm extremely bullish on. Uh, I, you know, this, this is like, you guys better, you better follow me on Galaxy if you do have the app. Uh, but, you know, this, they're, they're building something crazy. They are building something crazy. This is like, I saw HBAR to the moon. I think he made a, th he made a tweet about Galaxy. Galaxy is Twitter plus Venmo plus Patreon plus uh, WeChat plus everything. It's all in one. It is like a super app uh, for creators by creators. Amazing project. Now, out of the HBAR section, let's move into... The XRP section. Okay, so first of all, payout outlets using XRP. Coins.ph supports the following payment outlets through on demand liquidity JP Morgan, Bank of America, uh, this one, National Association, Citibank, NA Tokyo, Deutsche Bank, Standard Charter, and roughly 75 other major global, uh, major global banks. Banks, sorry. Uh, now, this is this is coins.ph right here, and this is Crypto Aries post. So big shout out to her for finding this. Uh, but, you know, these are the ones that are supported uh, by coins.ph. So there's some definite heavy hitters right there. I'm going to give that a like uh, right there. Now, let's get into, you know, clearing up the controversy around this, <coughs> excuse me, this Unicoin thing. Shout out to Crippen Writer right here. Uh, for putting out this thread basically he's going to talk a little bit about more clarity around what is this uh universal monetary unit right so this was made actually by the digital monetary or sorry digital currency monetary authority they are making moves and expanding its reach through twitter with its unicoin network and umu the native unicoin okay now, he shows a lot of these weird things that are going on. The founder has apparently been working on Unicoin since 2013, yet his LinkedIn says 2018. There's only two employees. They refer to themselves as a business, yet there is no registered corporate structure, no visible white paper. There is no contact page, no terms of use, no privacy policy, none of this stuff, no licenses, nothing. Okay, 
So, you know, I made a pretty dramatic video yesterday, uh, but now that more research is coming out, I'm realizing this is this ain't shit compared to XRP. This is not a competitor at all. Okay, they claim to have collaborated with the UN and World Economic Forum on Project Yetta, but there's no mention of DCMA, Unicoin, or UMU. Okay, <clears throat> the basic explanation is that the DLT was formerly known as Yetta blockchain, which is now extinct. Okay, now if we keep going, uh, you know, he this guy has registered all this. This is the, the founder, and we keep going, and basically... The, the gist of this is that the IMF has nothing to do with this, really. They've made they've never made any official remarks, uh, you know, addressing their position on DCMA and its stablecoin UMU. OK, so essentially this is some BS, uh, in my opinion. You know, my new perspective on this is it's some some kind of in uh, like individual person making a corporation and trying to attach it to the IMF, to the World Economic Forum, and to the big players, and push out press releases mentioning, you know, that they used to work with, uh, they used to work with these people on the Yetta blockchain, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you know, this, basically, do not worry about the Unicoin, and, you know, the, it's a dumb name anyways. <laughs> Very dumb name. Okay, moving forward, we're going to talk about some charts. We are going to talk about some charts. Quant is struggling right now. 116. I have no fear. Uh, I have no fear. I'm still, I still believe Quant can easily get back up into this range right here. Uh, the reason I have this red, green, red right here is because this is the money flow on Market Cipher. If you guys want to know what I use for trading, I use Market Cipher. And, you know, I don't care what any advanced traders think of this or think it's BS or whatever. I love Market Cipher. And, you know, I spent $2,000 or something of my own money for to buy the lifetime license. Uh, and, you know, I've already made that back using Market Cipher. I've already made it back on my trades. Uh, if you want to get this, I will leave the link in the description. This is Market Cipher. Uh, I don't know their new pricing if they've updated it. Uh, but let's just see right here. What's the pricing? So it's $600 for 12 months. Okay. Or you can just pay $1,500 and get it uh, for the for your lifetime. So that's what I did. I opted for that. And my goal was like, yo, I'm going to make back the $1,500 I spent on this. I'm not sponsored by Market Cipher. Uh, but the link in the description, that is a referral link. Okay. But anyone can get a referral link. You can buy Market Cipher and get a referral link right after. So this is what I use, right? And the reason I put these red, green, red here is because at the bottom, you see this red wave right there. And then you see this green wave. That's the money flow. So during this period, money was flowing into quant. And you can see that, you know, what happened to the price when money was flowing into it. There was bullish momentum. You can also see right here, these the lines, the white and blue lines and the gray lines. That is a combination of eight EMAs. Uh, that come with Market Cipher A. Okay, so there's a there's Market Cipher A, Market Cipher B, SR. You get all of them when you buy it. So here here you can see those lines turn to white and blue, which means bullish. Uh, so I've marked this out, and I'm gonna continue to just extend my my box right here for as long as the red money flow continues. Right? I am not I'm not bearish on quant at all. Okay, I think this is, might push right back up. Uh, and even if we go down to 105 or whatever, you know, or $100, I'm thinking, dude, we're going to bounce just like we bounced right here. Take a look at this, right? The What we could actually, like, potentially do uh, is, you know, come back up to 130 and then go down for the retest of $100. And then it's rocket time, in my opinion. But this could actually get ugly if we do break, like, all the way down. You know, which kind of happened here, but there's just so much strength in this whole area for quant. So much strength. So let's take a look at a different chart right here. Uh, this is the H bar chart. Okay. So H bar, you know, every altcoin is kind of looking the same right now. We do have, you know, some decent momentum happening on H bar. Uh, I believe these next few months could be good, uh, looking good for H bar. 
Now, ICP, I'm also in a long on ICP. Uh, it's at six bucks right now. And I got in at 4.7, I believe. So I'm deep, deep, deep into profit. Shout out to the VIP Discord members who also got into that call. Uh, and then the last one I wanted to look at is XRP. XRP actually looks really good. Uh, stay paying attention for a surprise run up on XRP. That could mean that some lawsuit news is coming. So the next like super dramatic move for XRP, uh, it was kind of, you know, on March 21, we did 25% in a day. That was really good. Uh, and then we continued up all the way to 58 cents. Uh, but the next dramatic move for XRP could indicate some kind of lawsuit news, okay? So I'm watching that closely. Now, that is all we've got for the market update. We do have a paid sponsor for today's video. This is Alaska Gold Rush. We're actually going to hop into some gameplay. This is uh, the first real AAA gaming metaverse. Okay, we played this on a previous video. We're going to hop into the game uh, again here. Uh, and you can see they're they just partnered up with Gems. They're landing a ton of different partnerships uh, and showing off their gameplay right here. So make sure you go and check out AlaskaGoldRush.io. Uh, they, you know, the the actual game is launching soon. I will play the beta, or sorry, the alpha version for you on this live stream, or not this live stream, this video. Uh, but go check them out. Let's get into some gameplay. So here we are in the menu of the game. We're going to click on free play right here. Uh, and it's going to give us this nice Western type themed. Uh, it is called Alaska Gold Rush. So, you know, it's it's set in the times of the actual Gold Rush. Uh, but this is kind of like a GTA-esque loading screen. Uh, and then we have hopped in here. And I believe we're actually... Yeah, we actually saved our progress here because we were running all the way out in the wilderness. Uh, now look at my inventory. Oh, I actually don't have my gun anymore. Uh, let's go all the way and run back into the village. We're gonna try and talk to this guy right here. So you can see like the graphics are there. Graphics are definitely there. It is an open world game right here. Let's talk to Jeb. Uh, great, you are back. So I'm just gonna skip through some of the dialogue right here. Uh, and see what type of quest he gives me. Okay, so, oh, a gun. Approach Jeb's chest and press E to open it. So we're gonna get the gun right here. We're gonna get the gun. Where's his chest? Right here, open. Boom, boom, we got some raw meat and a gun. Uh, so here, oh, oh yeah, we are, we are strapped now for sure. So let's try, let's try just walk around and explore this. Uh, we're supposed to be crafting cooked meat, as you can see. Uh, by the top right, but we're gonna run. I mean, this looks really good uh, for a Web3 game. You'll be able to earn gold uh, in, like inside the game. So there's actually, you know, a very, very strong Web3 integration here. Where are we headed here though? I don't know, mine, arena. Okay, we're going towards the mine. So I've never even explored all the way down here in our other gameplay, we didn't even make it down here. Uh, but you know, Crypto Mason Gaming, are we gonna make it? <laughs> are we gonna make that or no? So it looks like I'm running out of stamina. You can see your stamina at the bottom right. Uh, mine's refilling now, I can sprint more. Okay, we're going towards the mine. Let's go see if we can get some gold nuggets uh, and cash them out into crypto. That would be amazing. I don't think the game's that far along yet. I don't think it's even available to the public yet, uh, but they have given me access to show uh, where, how far is this mine, man? We're running like, we are running far. Should I try craft the meat here? Let's try it. How do I craft the meat? Food. Okay. I need a fire. I think I need fire. Okay. Let's keep it moving. Where's the mine at? Come on. I want to see the mine. Oh, wow. Okay. But if we don't see the mine in a second, we're going to wrap this up. But... We are headed into, or show me a bear. Like I want, I want to see a bear. That's what I want to see—a bear and shoot it down or something. Let's see. Oh, we're going towards something here. Let me use all my sprint to get up this. Come on, bro. I want to see the mine. I don't even see any any signs showing me how far it is. But let's check the view out. Look at that view. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. We found a human. We found a human. Oh, I need eight wood to light that up. Let's try to 
Oh, we can't open his chest. We can't talk to him either. Can we shoot him? <laughs> okay. We're going to wrap it up there. Thank you to Alaska Gold uh, Rush for sponsoring the video. I love every single one of you. Drop a like and comment on the video and subscribe. Uh, and goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.